students we will discuss polynomials see about polynomials in ninth class you know a little bit now what is a polynomial just i want to recall polynomial means an algebraic expression algebraic expression of constants constant means real and real constants variables and the powers of variables must not negative must not negative means the power should not negative you can say non negative integers non negative integers an algebraic expression algebraic expression means there should be plus minus multiplication terms are there okay an algebraic expression that contains what the constants constant means the real constants variables also but there is a condition the powers of the variables non negative why because if the power of a variable is minus 1 for example it becomes 1 upon x that's why clear the powers of the variables must not negative non negative integers for example so p of x is a polynomial where you can say a n x to the power n a n minus 1 x to the power n minus 1 plus the other plus a 2 x 2 plus a 1 x plus a 0 so where n is non negative integer then what are a0 a1 these are the constants a0 a1 dot dot a n are real constants what constant real numbers okay real numbers what is x x is a variable here i have taken only one variable some cases can taken more than one variables clear just i record what is a polynomial now if that uh, now question is degree of a polynomial what do you mean by degree of a polynomial degree of a polynomial what is that polynomial what the power you are telling now power of the variables power of highest power highest power of the variable highest power of the variable is called degree of the polynomial degree of the polynomial highest power of the variable for example suppose p of x is equal to 3x cube minus 2x square plus 3 now what the degree of polynomial degree of p of x is highest power is 3 3 clear this is about degree of a polynomial now what is a linear polynomial polynomial of degree 1 degree 1 is called linear polynomial is called linear polynomial right then if the degree is 2 then that is called quadratic polynomial so polynomial of these things we have discussed in ninth class degree 2 is called quadratic polynomial quadratic polynomial like this okay you can find the name of the only say degree 1, degree 2, quadratic, linear, like this. Okay. Now, if the degree is 3, then that is called a cubic polynomial, like this. Now, 
one more thing that you have learned in ninth class that is zero of a polynomial zero of a polynomial what is that it says just i want to recall by replacing the variable by any real number if the polynomial becomes zero then that number itself is a zero of the polynomial suppose p of x is a polynomial by replacing the variable by a real number okay suppose i replace the variable x by k so p of k if the answer becomes zero then k is a zero of the polynomial of p of x clear one example suppose p of x is equal to x square minus 3x minus 4 now what is p of minus 1 replace x by minus 1 wherever x is written write minus 1 so it is 1 plus 3 minus 4 how much 4 minus 4 equals 0 so a is p of minus 1 equal to 0 minus 1 is a 0 of the polynomial 0 of p of x clear the meaning of 0 of a polynomial now what is the general expression of a linear polynomial ok linear polynomial general expression linear polynomial that means suppose p of x is a polynomial if it is expressed as a x plus b x power is 1 so it is a linear polynomial so one the general form of the linear polynomial is a x plus b now if x is equal to k then what will happen p of k is equal to a into k plus b now suppose p of k becomes 0 that means if k is a 0 of p of x then what will happen this a into k plus b becomes 0 now what will you k minus b upon a that means the 0 of the polynomial can be related to the coefficients of the polynomial here the coefficients are a and b and 0 is your k is related so k is equal to minus b upon a ok so what is minus b b means your constant minus constant term here b is the constant ok upon coefficient of x coefficient of x so constant term divided by coefficient negative is your 0 ok that is k is equal to minus b by a where uh, p of x will take plus we have taken and k is a 0 of the polynomial p of x is given then what the relation between k and minus b by a k is equal to minus b upon a this is the relation between the coefficients and the constant of the given polynomial with its 0 right next the geometrical meaning of 0 of a polynomial geometrical meaning of zeros of a polynomial that means what it says see actually if by drawing the graph of the given polynomial intersect x axis then the x coordinate is the zero of the polynomial you get it by plotting the graph of the polynomial of a linear polynomial if that graph intersects x axis then the x coordinate at that point is the zero of the 
polynomial this is the geometrical expression you can write then polynomial is x plus b linear then how can you plot the graph you have to assume suppose p of x is equal to x plus b is a polynomial given then how can you plot the graph polynomial means you cannot plot the graph you have to assume this p of x becomes y so y is equal to ax plus b now it is a linear equation because equation with the two variables here it is a linear polynomial that polynomial now becomes equation how now we replace p of x by y otherwise you cannot plot the graph now as it is a linear you will get a straight line straight line you can check by taking any linear equation and draw on the graph paper then the line you can write the x coordinate x coordinate of the intersecting point of the graph on x axis is zero of the polynomial of the polynomial clear at first we assume that polynomial is y so we will get a linear equation then you can plot the graph if that graph may be not, not linear equation here we have taken a linear polynomial so we are getting linear equation if not you will get accordingly uh, which type of polynomial that we have taken accordingly we will get the equation but you can replace p of x by y so y must be linear the degree is 1 so we should not take a p of x as y squared okay now if the graph is like this so the point is here the just before i told the x coordinate here the x coordinate here the graph is intersecting x axis is the origin x coordinate of this point what is the y on x is y is 0 suppose x coordinate is 3 so this 3 is the polynomial of p, uh, 0 of the given polynomial okay in linear polynomial you will get 1 0 but the polynomial is quadratic you will get 2 zeros may that zeros are same but you will get 2 zeros so the 0 of the polynomial depends on the degree of the polynomial zeros of a polynomial is equal to right number of zeros of a polynomial is equal to the degree of the polynomial degree of polynomial maybe the zeros are equal or not that is a separate thing but how many zeros you will get as per the degree of the polynomial if the degree of the polynomial is 3 you will get 3 zeros out of the 3 zeros may 3 all 3 shall equal may 2 shall equal may not that is a matter but you will get 3 zeros if the degree of the polynomial is 3 okay so how can you find geometrically the zero of the polynomial at first you have to equate the polynomial with y then after you can plot the graph of the polynomial then when the at which point when now at which point the graph intersect x axis you have to mark the points and you have to find the x coordinate of the points and that the x coordinates are the zero of the polynomial if the graph intersect x axis more than one point then you will get more than zeros how many intersect points on the x axis you will get that number of zeros you will get no need to solve simple plot the graph find the x coordinate of the intersecting points and y is 0 right is to find the 0 of a polynomial we are equating the polynomial with 0 here y becomes 0 what is your y generally we have taken p of x as y and what is your x by putting the value of y what do you get that is x 
So as p of x becomes zero on x axis because you are taking p of x is y, then the x coordinate is the zero. Clear. This is about the geometric representation of zeros of a polynomial. The polynomials you have to equate to y. The graphs may vary. They have parabolic, may be hyperbolic, may be straight line, may be any curve. Depends upon the equation of the polynomial. Right. So we can solve the exercise two point one. Thank you.